and I'm back for a different kind of video. Recently, I did a lingerie shoot in Times Square and wanted to get some awesome behind the scenes video of it. I have a DJI drone, but finding someone that could fly it around the people there, plus the buildings, plus not being legally able to fly in New York City, I had to think of a better solution. So I put together this fake drone on a pole, which, as you see, got me some amazing video. It's cheaper than a drone, legal to use anywhere, and simple enough to use, you can hand it off to anyone. Hey guys, Evan from Evan was here photography. Now, this may look like a normal boom pole, but it isn't. First off, three feet compact, 10 feet extended. It's got the rubber bouncy ball. It goes against your hip or on the floor and it's comfortable. But along with all that, I have the DJ Osmo pocket and a cell phone in a cradle over here. With this, I can have active track which follows my subject wherever they go. All the parts I'm using will be shown in detail at the end of this video. I will also list them in the description below. Now, you don't have to use the same parts I did. This all-in is $750, which still comes below the price of a drone. But if you do it yourself, you can probably get a better price, mix and match, do whatever. The links are in the description below if you want to use it. Now let's go on to the video. My shoots can last three to six hours. Therefore, I need the batteries to be able to keep up with the shots. Shooting 4K at 30 frames per second, the Osmo Pocket just won't last two hours. Plus the Samsung S10 Plus I'm using to display the live video will die before then as well. So I ran a Tether Tools 15 foot USB-C cable down the pole plus another USB-C cable from the phone and plugged both into a 13,000 amp battery with two ports that can rest in my assistant's pocket. Since I am using the USB-C port to charge a camera, I control it using DJI's Wi-Fi adapter. Since the distance to the Wi-Fi is less than 10 feet, there is little to no lag in the display. If you plan to do shorter amounts of video, then you can skip using a battery and Wi-Fi and just plug the USB directly into the phone. I recently saw a video from a YouTuber named Shung that put a camera on a large portable boom. I'll link to this video in the description as well. Now this idea was very cool, but I wanted to add to it with a way not only to watch the live video, but also operate the camera to track the subject. As you can see, the DJI Osmo Pocket can follow the subject without your assistant having to move the pole around, so they can focus on other ways to track the shot. I really can't speak enough about how awesome the active track is. I have been able to pass a pole to any of my assistants and they are instantly able to use the camera, quickly placing a box over the subject via the phone which gives me the smoothest video as the camera tracks the subject automatically. The pole I'm using goes up 9 feet 7 inches, but when your assistant places a rubber ball on their hip, your camera is over 12 feet high, mimicking an awesome drone shot. The pole is about 3 pounds and the gear on it is about 1 pound, so assistants of all sizes can easily hold it. Plus, when collapsed, it is very portable. Basically, all the benefits of a camera on a crane without the bulk size and weight. Let's go over the parts list. 
we begin with the DJI Osmo Pocket. The camera is highly maneuverable with a great range of motion. I have a 256 micro SD card in the camera with a few extras as spare. I have never run out of memory when recording. I have used gaff tape to protect my camera a bit from falling out of the Wi-Fi cradle. It is pretty tight in there, but with all the bouncing around while we move scene to scene, a little extra protection never hurts. The third party cradle, which seems to be 3D printed, I found on Amazon. It allows a USB-C plug to go through it for the Wi-Fi dock. It also has a screw-on mount on the bottom to plug into the pole. Here's a Wi-Fi dock. I highly recommend this for any DJI Osmo Pocket user. You can buy it by itself or as part of an add-on kit. I am using a quarter inch socket screw to mount to the cradle. Under that is a Tether Tools rock solid arrow elbow, which gives me a couple quick ways to adjust the angle of the camera on the pole. The self mount on the pole is highly maneuverable to handle any viewing angle. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe so you can see future behind the scenes videos as well as other gear videos like this. If you also want to, you can follow me on Instagram at Evan West here. Have a great day.